stage here in winners finals. It just doesn't feel real. I mean, usually Sonics does get the upper hand and the past, I believe, three knockdowns, he has defeated Capitan Cito, but you know, things could be different. We're gonna see what form of Capitan Cito is being brought for us tonight. Let's get it. And if, I mean, if Smash is a conversation, this one's a downright <laughs> argument, right? Yeah. Like In Spanish. In Spanish. <laughs> So something that I can't even understand. Yeah, that's what makes it even better. Those uh, that's even faster, right? Like how do you? Right? <laughs> they they conversate way faster than we do. I don't know how, but a couple shots come in true very quickly. This one is going to be evened up, and I think that we're going to see that for the remainder of this matchup, though. Just very close. I think what it comes down to is who has the better ledge guarding between these two. Because you can see right now, so far, the percents are low. There's really nothing going on, but Sonic's already aggressively shooting at the ledge here. Yeah, and I genuinely think that at certain points, Capitan Tito does get red off of ledge pretty easily, but he's always got some new tech that he's showing me with this Mii Gunner, so. Yeah, I mean, right now he's falling a little too passively. It's not like him to not press a button, but of course he doesn't want to panic, but right now Sonics is just in the driver's seat as much as he can be. Excellent turnaround grab as well. This is what I was talking about. He's on the ledge and it's not necessarily an edge guard. But once he gets back onto the ledge, he is figured out ever so slightly. And that one has been figured out three times in a row. He's grabbed the ledge and they figured him out. And that's wow. not good for Capitan Cito, as this is something I think Raph first showed me uh, that Capitan Cito was kind of getting a schmix on the ledge. And now Sonics is trying to show me, and this might be dead. You know, this is actually something no. kind of new. I haven't been seeing Sonics use too much up air to just kind of quickly catch Capitan Cito when he's recovering, but again, like, there's still so much to learn in this game, so many strategies Ooh. that you have that we're seeing right now. Hits him with a rocket and then follows it up with the Deckington surprise like we've seen him do in the past. Now with the rage. Oh no, he's not gonna live. Oh. No, he's, he's not gonna die from that. I mean, I thought he was gonna go back with it. Up throw, no, I think up throw at this point is probably more likely to kill. At least in the middle of the stage, oh. that could have been a reversal with the back air. That spring safe. Oh, him. but it doesn't matter. After the beating, the beating. The Happy Tonsito was taking the whole time. The he, beat manages, down. he manages to get the hit that matters. And now he's in the driver's seat, getting a tomahawk grab as well. This is momentum. And right now, Sonics has yet to play shaky. But we've seen Cabinet Cito is one of the only people can who can exactly who can shake him up. We will see. Right now, they're both playing calm, though. But so far, Sonics is just, you know, uh, been a little bit more aggressive in the air, a little bit better juggles, but. You can't count Capitan Cito out. Sonic's changing his tag to go what Angelic's tag was. Just, you know, stealing the tag after you beat him. <laughs> stealing the tag after they beat stole him. Her identity. That's <laughs> just. The face stealers. That is just rough. Was that from Avatar, the face stealer? <laughs> yeah, Sonic's. I love that. But yeah, Rockin', um, you know, paying homage to the PF for this is winning it for her. I mean, potentially winning it for her. I mean, he does yeah. have, you know, this Mii Gunner standing in his way. So far, the spring is standing in Capitan Cito's way. Jesus. What's crazy is we should just do, like, the tournament should just start. We should just go Sonic versus Capitan Cito. Screw seeding. <laughs> Run it from the beginning. Just start with grand finals just and then let the rest of the tournament let play Let the rest out. of the tournament play out. The loser is the loser. The winner is the winner. Yeah, the, the highest place you can get at this bracket, by the way, is third. <laughs> if you win, that's just for third. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everybody that actually wins, okay, so this is what we do. We just let them fight it out at the beginning, and then everybody else can have a possibility that they get first. <laughs> the winner just walks away. Wait, so they're in their own bracket of <laughs> yes. just two, and then yes. everyone else gets to be in the actual tournament. <laughs> yes, I'm, I promise that'll work. Yeah, well, let's just go ahead and kick the Dominican Republic <laughs> out. You know, what? let's make it a Vegas local. No, you know, what I, I didn't. Mean? I didn't say all that. <laughs> Number one on our PR there, is Capitan Cito. They've been farming us for too long. I've had it. <laughs> Not, never that. I, I like that we have at least somebody to combat this Sonics, right? Takes the first stock early, has him kind of pressed up in the corner. He's not pressing all the buttons he was against these other competitors. He definitely is trying Ooh. his hardest Ooh. to win as they're both on two stocks apiece, but one's at 174. However, the one with the higher percentage uh -oh. Uh -oh. died yeah, that's earlier. Kill. 174 off the top blast zone, and Sonics wants a minute. Yeah, and Kevin has been doing a great job just kind of walling out 
not put him in positions where he has to worry about getting juggled too much. Sonic's kind of struggling to find that opening. There, it, there was that moment in the beginning where Capitan Cito just couldn't find the ledge without finding Sonic's a grab on him or something like that. And right now, Sonic's just been getting aerial. Ooh. Usually he doesn't lose these aerial to aerial battles, but he's losing them. Right there. You know what's one thing, and like I know if I say this, I, it, it might fall on deaf ears, but if it does get picked up by Sonics or someone tells them that I'm saying this, <laughs> you know, it might actually change the matchup forever, but Sonics does not homing attack like at all. Yeah. Compared to what Wrath does and how Wrath was finding so many openers against Capitan, there's a homing attack right there. But like I'm saying, I, I feel like it just it's something so difficult to I, react to in the new Yeah, and I think somebody told him. Oh, that's oh my God, motion. that's going to kill. He just got a torso full of rockets. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that's something that he, in his gameplay early on, got told, oh, you're just a, you know, you're just homing attacking too much. And I think he limits his amount of homing attack. So I don't think necessarily it's something that, you know, he doesn't see, but uh, one thing about right. Sonics is they're they're super quick, so he's I, that bad of there. And I mean that's the thing. I know, like, but Sonics, like, it doesn't matter if you're a top level player, like how good you are. There are some very simple things that just don't cross your mind because sometimes you're thinking so ahead, so many steps ahead yeah. that you kind of like glaze past the the fundies, you know. And I think that. We've seen how Wrath plays it. There are things to learn. Like, again, they play different, you yeah, know? Yeah. And even though Sonic's is undisputed best, there are certain things to learn that, you know, I, I feel like he could take into this matchup. I mean, we I saw, mean he doesn't have to. I'm we sure saw where... I noticed. Yeah, we saw where he used it, and I think that's where he likes to use it because it is kind of a risky move there. But he has so many ways out of the, that ledge situation where you just kind of, you know, go back and forth with homie attack. Right, right, yeah. And during that time, there I don't know if there was a bit of a technical issue. Maybe he changed uh, controllers or headphones. or I don't know what it was, but Sonics did come back with some new new. Yeah, he changed up a lot here. He's got to change new color nits. A little bit more ashy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, real. when you're fighting hard, bro, you build up a sweat and whatnot. Put up some lotion, Sonic. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't even remember on the thing what this character was supposed to. Because remember I told you I watched all the... Yeah, 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 where the alt comes from. Yeah, yep. but I don't even remember what this one comes from. Does, does every alt have a backstory? Yeah, yeah. Like, actually, they're not just random? No, yeah, they have something. I feel like everyone's. I feel like every single character has a reason to one of those. I think... Oh, there's no way that connected! Oh, 107. Of all the things to connect, that I think Sonic had to have dropped shield because his shield was full. That was not a poke. But going back to what you said about the alts, um, I respect Nintendo for what they did do as far as alts go, but I feel like there were so many yeah, missed opportunities. Yeah, a lot like, of stuff we, we have a dark Sonic, but where's Shadow? Just put the... Where's Tails? We have a red Sonic, where's Knuckles? Like, like the Knuckles yeah. skin. We don't even need the character, it's the Knuckles, the homage to Knuckles. Yeah, just red. Just Make red. him red! Red guy, red guy. Make him red, you know? That's what they did to hold. <laughs> That's like a whole nother character. <laughs> That's not even the same old. Exactly. That's what I think. That's what their mind was at, and I think they originally <laughs> had plans to put all the Sonic characters in. So I think they're kind of waiting. They didn't want to just spoil it, especially since they know all of our we're all here now. But yeah, maybe there's maybe that's because exactly. exactly. They're, they're saving up for the next title. Otherwise, they would have had to put him in this one. Knuckles and Smash will be one of the next biggest reveals, I'm telling you. Yeah, I like that. I, I think Knuckles and Smash. Knuckles, so, so, Shadow. Shadow is an Echo Fighter, you know? Ooh. I just think he kind of feels different when he runs, so. He's got he's a different, running. Dude, he's he's got a different swag so to him. Have you have you seen the uh, Juno, the new Overwatch character? Yeah, yeah. She runs just like Shadow. Yeah, she has like those anti gravity boots. She's got like a lot to do with him. I feel like they're gonna make a skin or something. Oh, that'd be so cool. I, I heard him trying to trying to get it going, but yeah, the Shadow has a very specific silhouette in his animation when he does anything. You can't make Sonic look like Shadow. It's my point. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they, they stand different. Dude, was that 214 percent? Yeah, that's a that's Sonic to live in as long as he possibly can. Still, was only able to put up 38 extra percentage onto Capitan Tito, which I'm gonna have to guess he's gonna get back in blood. 
We'll see. I mean, right now, again, Capitan Tino coming down aggressively, which is something that we didn't see him open up with a lot, but I feel like as time goes on, he's kind of adapting to the way that Sonic likes to juggle. There's a homing attack again, I'm telling you. We don't see Sonic do it a lot, but when he does do it, he does it at the right time where it does become an open. Yeah, it starts the combo. It just needs to find his way to trickle into some more damage, because right now, I think Capitan Tito, at Whoa. least in the damage counter, has put him to work. <gasps> on the stock oh, counter, though. Yeah, that takes the stock and in the player camp. Cappy Nocito is going to shake his head. That is a mistake that he's probably going to regret for the remainder of the set. I mean, yeah, he might not even have the time to regret it because this one's going to be over <laughs> yes. quick. Three minutes give, on the clock. Give Sonic an inch, he'll take a mile. And I feel like distance is something that Sonic is used to. Yeah, I mean, miles per hour. Oh! Okay. You know this Tails cannon, like, the name? Yeah. Tails. Miles per, per hour. hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's like miles per hour, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's like one word per hour. <laughs> per oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Okay. He catches. Um, and now, the, just like that, the game is back to even. Yeah, three minutes on the clock, too, so they're going to have to scrap this one out. It's going to be Capitan Cito's favor if he can continue to lay on this damage like he has. There's a grab, but it's What a bad. I mean, I've never seen one pummel. I didn't even see Sonic's body vibrating. Right, like, what kind right. of hidden telekinetic mash? That was that was all brain mash. <laughs> brain mush for us here at the HyperX Arena. Shooting uh, for the oh stars God. at the moment. <gasps> Ooh. Excellent spacing from Sonic just to go back to the ledge right there. Captain Tito had the right idea, but Sonic's is used to it. Oh, he rolls in. That was so good because he's able to reset into center. Trying to get these shots to go, but he just gets hit by the last hit of oh, oh, punish! Great shielding. Oh my god. And these are those type of situations where you can see that Sonic might be playing a little out of character. I mean, he's pulling it together though, just up air after up air. Yeah, he pulls it together nonetheless. The onslaught of aerials and somehow Sonic shaking his head after that one. I, I find it so funny, like the perfectionist play style yeah. that he has. Like you make one mistake that's like not even really your fault and it's just like, damn it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it, it's not anything that you can do about it. You're just working on It's just the combo. nature of the game, yeah, the you, engine. You're working on your combos so much that you know when you drop them. But Capitan Cito on the other side is just waiting for his oh moment. God. He's sitting at 133, all raged out of his mind. Just has to put together a big oh no. kill here like he did at the beginning. Yo, this, One, this could do it. Catches up on tech, tech. Tech indeed. Oh! Rolls away from him. <laughs> And then so as he rolled forward, he rolled backwards. So that was a crazy visual. He's going to be able to get back to the oh ledge my God, once the again. Spring. Oh, and he catches him going high. Circumvents the spring, but goes right over into the first stock, or the last stock in Sonic's. Takes our game, too. Capitan Cito, though, I want to say did more damage, but it's hard to say. I mean, that can 100% be truth, but I mean, like, that when, second stock, did he not? Had that second stock drug on a little bit longer, we'd see a completely different outcome. The thing is, though, with Sonic, well, he's winding up his controller again. What's going on? Get him out of here. We get, we, we're on the hunt to find the perfect controller. <laughs> and the perfect stage for our run back here. 1-1 one, one goes both ways. It's a great sign if you're in the building and wanted to see some good uh, Sonic killing action. That other controller is not working. It's rip. I think it's not the button presser it used to be. Yeah, well, I mean, you could do as much damage as you want, but I mean, if you're getting gimps Stop like me. Sonic's does, like just yeah. the, <laughs> relieving your opponent of resources off the stage, yeah, killing them at 30%. So it doesn't matter what percent. Well, he had that stock where he lived to 200 and that kind of evened things out. Oh, yeah, for sure. But then right when he was able to get in another lick of damage. He goes down at like 56. So both, of these, both of these players just need to continue to tack on the damage. Yeah, oh my God, we're seeing Kevin Cito play the long game right here. The range is working out in his favor. Not only that, but he's, he's scrappy in the mix too. Yeah, I like him taking a shot there, but then kind of repositioning. Oh my God. Getting the shot out of the sky. Here comes a grab. No back air follow up. You do not want to be on this ledge though if you have Cito. No, you, not at all. Or you, below the platform. You play so well off in the distance. Whoa. Yeah, here we go. Re retreat to center stage. I like it. 
And you know, I don't know what it is, but I noticed when Capitan Cito starts landing nares, it's like when he's the most locked in. Like that's when he starts playing like his most well. It's not the it's not the easiest move to hit either. So no, it's so slow, but it does cover a lot of space. There you go. Like, like right there, like it's just hitting the back of the hitbox, covering that space. It's doing what it needs to do. Puts that bomb right where it needs to be, oh. right behind him. But somehow shields right out of the front. Sonic's front landing hit. on the perfect pixel. Yeah, first hit and back hit. That would shield it all. Sonic, Sonic, or uh, Captain Alcida rather, trying his hardest to make sure that Sonic does not live to 200 this time. He's throwing out those kill moves. Yeah. Guarding the ledge. That's exactly what you have to do. Ooh. Double bomb not going to do it either. Great. DI is going to go all the way around the world to mix up Capitan Cito. Yo. And it ends up landing Yo. right next to him. Sonic <laughs> rushes him down like it's nothing Wait, and gets the that's first what I'm stock. Talking about. That's what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter what percent you're at. If you're going off stage for kills like that, I mean, you're always going to keep some sort of balance. Yeah, the balance is right with the all in the world. 212 is how long this Sonic is living to. Sonic's himself, though. Knows he wants to do a little bit more in the game. Knows he can live to these percentages. Woo! But Woo definitely wants to prove himself here. Sonic's getting so scrappy for it off the stage, but he understands that he has to. Yeah, I like that covering uh, Capitan Cito's landing with the bomb and now remixing it into the center stage. We go. Okay. Sonic's not trying to get hit by any type of reversals because Capitan Cito's actually been a menace. Setting up on the ledge. That could be a punish, but a little bit of fumble for both players I right felt, there. I felt prior to that, right before that, too, it was a little bit of a punish situation, but he kind of drops both of them just playing with his food a little bit here. The up air. No follow-up right there. Pretty uncharacteristic miss. But I'm not surprised whenever these guys play against each other. Yeah. They both just play very uncharacteristic. Yeah, they both have to get into each other's mind and then lock each other out of each other's exactly. mind. Exactly. Exactly. And that, that's just a mental battle at that point. This is the, the Spanish argument. Yes, sir. Okay. Excellent grab. This isn't going to get the kill, but I mean, Cabin Asino does not want to be in this position. Yet oh, that's so good. The spring knocks him in it's the middle so of the stage. It's so good for him. He wanted that so bad, it just happened for him. Oh my god. And the neutral air. Timing oh. matters. Sonic has the back air ready, and now Cabin Asino on his last stock. Yes, has one more game to play with. But Ooh, that was thinking. <gasps> oh, wait, both don't of those. jump for Sonics. How is he going to make it back? Cabin Asino cannot let this one go through. And Sonic grabs ledge. That is so crazy. He's so good at getting back to the ledge no matter what. You think he's not going to be able to make it back. He does that little bit of aerial drift. And he gets it back. It's nothing. And he sends him to the sky. Okay. Nice he, parry. I don't Double know parry. what he's punching, he's but he's locked in. The message. Hey, the, that last controller sucks. I know that. <laughs> Whatever controller he was using before that sucks. He's looking good in this game three. Trying to get into Sonic's head is such a crazy thing too, because like, where are you? Where do? You, where does he even think his holes in his armor are? Oh no! But Captain Alcido, if there is any, he's gonna he's exploit gonna it. Find him. But I mean, at this point. The main thing that Sonic has to worry about is just the amount of time that he has on the clock. I mean, he's in a pretty big lead. Uh, he's also been doing a great job just surviving. Sonic being as glassy as he is, yeah. living to these high percents. Captain Cito able to find enough to close it out there, but 94%, 230 left on the clock. Uh, uh, Captain Cito could do this, right? But it's going to take oh my God, not yeah. getting touched by one of the best competitors in all time. Yeah, but this is where it starts right here. He gets the read, reads the air dodge. Neutral airs after neutral airs. Catches gets him. the high recovery. Yeah, the anti air is coming out the missile. Sonic just has to grab ledge uh, some kind of way. That was a Never scam. mind, he doesn't need ledge. Who needs yeah, ledge? Yeah, who wants to grab ledge? I'm telling you, it's Capitan Sito could learn a lot from that because he always goes for this ledge and then he gets guessed. He gets reading rainbow at ledge so often. Capitan Sito. So close to a possible comeback there, but Sonic's is going to sneak it out once again with that board air. Something we see him do all the time. Yeah, and a little bit of panic there set in from Capitan Cito. But, I mean, you did see the vision. You saw a little bit of magic Zero to 70 right real quick, Starting regardless. Up. Yeah, and it was good read after good weed, but Sonic's, I don't know how he did it, but he managed to drop down low with the homing attack. 
come back up with a rising back air. And, ooh. Oh, I'm, hopefully this green ninja comes out. This will make it be so. Uh. <laughs> this will even up the matchup so heavily. <laughs> I feel like Cameron Encino, he knows weird enough matchups. That probably wouldn't even throw him off. Yeah, no. Uh, what it would throw off is our entire bracket. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is a possible game three. We've seen Capitan Cito in loser's bracket in grand finals in the past, but he doesn't want to go there on this one. Nope, no, sir. I feel like a lot of the times, actually, that Capitan Cito wins a it's knockdown. From it's from the loser's bracket, so I mean, like, it's not all bad. Usually, that's what it takes for him to wake up, I guess. It's a lot of download that you get from being in loser bracket. Yeah, lots right? of time and just, again, lots of waking up just technically, uh, mechanically yeah. as well. You know, getting used to the stage, feeling more confident and whatnot. Uh, what this proves to me is we're going to be going game five all night, ladies and gentlemen, so strap in. Yeah, and also that mash from Sonic, even being at like those more mid percents, yeah. still instant. I love that I parry. Asked him, I asked him what he uses the mash, he said everything. Yeah. He says it yep. so much, but I don't know. It looks faster than others that I've seen, but it's Sonic, so it makes sense. Mm. He passed him, homing attack a little oh. bit too much. Actually getting punished by up smash. Maybe that's time. why he doesn't homing attack, because he gets up smash. I mean, sometimes it just depends on what side you land on them because that's actually the first I love it. punishment scene. I love it from Capitan Cito. Isn't able to grab the ledge, goes for that higher platform, and kind of dances on it for a second and almost gets the stock. If can get down. Get down, Mr. President. Aw, oh, very interesting. Sonic's looking a little angry at his controller right there. Yeah, my, I'm very curious to know what this controller word is. Yes. Uh, Whose controller is Who's the culprit? It's gotta be. It's gotta be Angelo's, right? Could be. Could be Angelo's. Maybe it's an arena controller. I don't know. I feel like Sonic's is the if type. If he's of winning with a <laughs> an arena controller, I'm the Pikachu one. I'm quitting. <laughs> if he's winning with a Pikachu right now, I am quitting. <laughs> no, but Sonic doesn't strike me as the type to not bring his own equipment. Exactly. Anyway. Yeah, agreed. I don't know. Maybe it was just a bad day. Maybe it was rough. Out on a date. Something like right. that. Oh, snap, it's Knockdown Monday. I forgot. <laughs> Whoa. How could you forget? <laughs> Sonic, how could you forget? <laughs> oh, okay, get up. Somehow just walks through the rockets and fire and flames. It, it's really funny imagining that Sonic players all talk like Sonic because, like, that's one of the most, like, what, what's the word? They're a very influenced fan base yeah. by Sonic, like this character. Yes. Usually they're like diehard fans. Yes. Like the Sonic they're, fandom is crazy, you know? They're only diehard fans. Yeah, and that's kind of what you touched up on earlier was like, you're born a Sonic. Yeah. And a lot of those guys just grew up playing Sonic games, loving Sonic. Yeah. So it just makes sense to think just act like them in every way. And it's also one of those characters that like doesn't necessarily have a crazy good game besides Sonic Adventure 2. You know? Yeah, and even those are looked back at. And like, now does he even like, talk in that game? Like, he, he does. But his mouth doesn't match up yeah. with anything he's saying. It's like an old like Kung Pao movie. Yeah. But no, like it, even those games, like the Sonic Adventure series, are like being looked back at as like these games aren't as good as you remember. Uh, no way, bro. That yeah. one, that one doesn't count. That one doesn't count. No, so Sonic Adventure, especially Sonic Adventure Two Battle, like Chow World, bro. Fire. Like, you can't go wrong with Chow World. I ended up once I 100% got all. 180 emblems. I unlocked Green Hill Zone. Uh, yeah, Chow World was what was keeping me in the game. I didn't even do that, bro. I just played the first level over and over and over and over and over. And wait, over wait what? City Escape? Yeah. I mean, it's just, legendary. Just to get the Chow stuff to give to my Chow. What was your favorite animal to feed the Chows? Uh, do you remember? Yeah. I, I used animals. I didn't use Chaos Drive. I'm a big cheetah guy. The cheetah I love the best one for run. For I love sure. the bat. Isn't there a bat? There is something the, the, to give the bad guys wings. No, it yeah. makes their legs disappear. Yeah. It, it actually yeah. just makes their legs disappear. And then they go into they karate have, with no kick. Yeah, they kick you. Oh, wait. They don't kick. No, you go I into karate. I thought they kick you with, like, invisible feet. Yeah. <laughs> well, you go into karate with no kick, bro. It's like sad. <laughs> and the kicking was way more broken than the one. Yeah. Like, the kicking was so much better. All right. As we waffled our way to a 1v1 it's situation podcast here. Podcast mode, bro. Podcast <laughs> mode and for Capitan Cito. Not to try to... 
Oh my god. Yeah, and then he's feeling so much of this pressure on the stage. Okay, back to Sonic. Back to uh, podcast mode. Back to podcast mode. Ah! <laughs> as soon as we start commentating. There we go. Sonic coast to like, coast. This is giving me power. Oh, I love that. Over extend at the lunch. Don't oh do it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so at least we know he doesn't go down there, but it's still a possibility here. I can't believe he just tried to load up the entirety of the Sonic box yeah, set. Yeah, that was the USA smash right there. <laughs> oh! Oh, he's out of there. He that was punch for punch. Going duff for duff. Right knuckle there. Knuckle for knuckle. And we're going to go to our game five. Hopefully you guys are Thank enjoying Thank God, it. dude. I need it. I need it. This is what I wanted to see. We wanted to see an awakened Capitan Sito. That's what we wanted to see. We wanted to see the person that came here to challenge number one in the Dominican Republic. And I did confirm while we were at, I think it was in and out the other day, mm -hmm. uh, last week, mm -hmm. we... Randomly met up with Sonics and Angie at um, in and out after the tournament. But he after. did say that he does not live in Vegas. He just visits here frequently. Right. I mean, yeah. I, I would still consider just, him number one in the DR. And she just awaits her time <laughs> to yeah. have him back. Number one in DR versus number one in Vegas. So, I mean, technically, there's like two lures to this. I there's, feel like there's so many layers to this story. I feel like Sonics was here longer than Capitan Zito. I mean, that's obvious. Well, yeah, no, Sonics came here first, and, yeah. and Capitan Zito followed suit because he's like, nah, bro. He's like, I can't just let you farm. You can't just come here and start growing crops. He's, he's like, like, he's like, bro, the rent is cheap, bro. It's hot. It's true. It's hot, bro. And I mean, he's used to that tropical weather. He's used to the heat. So, I mean, why not? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, nobody can even wear clothes because it's so hot outside. <laughs> the only thing you got a lack of is the humidity, but true. It, it really just depends on who you ask. I That's really hate goes. humidity, bro. So I love a good dry heat over a hot heat. But I've been to Florida and it sucked. Speaking of the which, <laughs> here comes a heater straight at you, MVD. Where you at? <laughs> Oh, because of uh, Hollow Bastion? He, no, he's from Florida. Oh, then he knows how awful the summer is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the summer's awful here, too. It's just they're wet and awful. Yeah. So it's like, ugh. Not, not at all. <laughs> but, all right, but yeah, game our five. Game of five Bastion. of winner's finals here oh! at Hollow Bastion is going very similar to our prior games. Woo! <laughs> very, very even until it's not. Somebody find Ooh, the stock. Sonix is able to find a punish everywhere, even when it looks like he should be able to connect a, a hit. He just does. I don't know. There's something oh, about no. Capitan Cito on ledge. It's like he's slowly trying to. I think it's because he doesn't have to do anything like that. That was kind of cool. He thought yeah, what what a mix right there at yeah. the bottom. That that actually could have been a kill, but Capitan Cito opting to go for the grab. Could have been the up tilt. Oh, he looked like a superhero right there. He looked like Captain America. Oh my god, and, and even still losing that stock so early. Capitan Cito fighting back. Sonic's at 200 percent so far since taking the stock. It's been unanswered. Oh, bounces him. Quick homing attack though. A little yeah. bit of extra damage. Need We're gonna to, set up at the ledge. Need to answer before 200 percent is my biggest call out here to Capitan Cito. Other than that, bro, is playing out of time. Yeah, the next grab is gonna kill from Capitan though. So Sonic's, I mean, he's gonna have to make this uh, stock count. Oh! And he does not. He double danced on him. He hit the double spot dodge. <laughs> Man, and this is what you expect from a game five. You expect a lot of like crazy options that you're like, yo, what is going on right here? Just crazy gameplay all around. And it's like, it's because these two competitors have had time to download each other yes, to, the, sir. to the most amount of time. Yeah, it, exactly. They're going the distance right now. So much so, in fact, that we're seeing Hollow Bastion for the first time. I mean, this is, why not? This is one of the counter picks on the Unified, but... Oh, no, it's not. This is, a, this is a starter on Unified. Yeah, this is a starter now. What the heck? Surprisingly, the two main starters, Smashville and Pokemon Stadium, are now the counter pick. Yeah, that's, that just sounds like uh, Dapo got bored. He's yeah, like, yeah, I don't Put these. I don't know about that one. Put but, Bikini Bottom but over I mean, here. <laughs> gentlemen overall, so it is what it is. True. It's just the same way a GA is. Uh, a GA goes the other way. We find ourselves in a gentleman, gentleman's agreement to, yeah. in our top five situation two times in a row. But no way. It's going to get lifted up. Doesn't go down for oh it. Oh my God, Deck no to the jump side. for Sonic. You always come back. You always say that. And he always <laughs> comes back. He always comes back. It's, it's almost like he's immune to the ledge setup. Like, no. look at this. Once like, he, the spacing is so oh, good. Oh, he sent the bomb back too. But yeah, once he utilizes that air dodge 
to get back to the ledge. Seems like the jump doesn't really matter, especially a lot of the players not going off the stage, knowing he gets so tricky off stage. God. Two going all the way around. And the ball the back. Ball back. Oh, I, it. Go. I love Captain That was reaction. fire. That was fire. Nani. Nani. And then 180 living to oh. bomb. Dude, Sonic's try. I respect it. He got up and tried to hit the forward tilt. Nah. Hit. Game five, last stock. Perfectly even. 0% each. But Sonics has been living to 200, so Capitan Cito has to find a way not to get scammed here. Which is hard and uh, hard in Las Vegas. It's, it's, yeah, it's really hard when you're fighting against someone who just will chase you to the ends of the blast. Even when they're at win. even when they're at 170, like not scared of his uh -oh. percentage. It's such to a back light, such a light character just still not worried about his percentage. Yo. Finally gets homie attacked into the back air, and that is going Dude, to be yo, it. That's how it ends. Scammers get scammed. It was built up to be such an epic final battle, but Sonic said, I'm tired of your games. Did you say nunny? <laughs>